undergroundhiphopblog.com exclusive. Mic check, one, two, one, two, what up? This is Pause One representing undergroundhiphopblog.com. We're here at the DIY Fest, do-it-yourself fest, Pomona, California at the Glass House. I'm here with Noah James, one of the dudes responsible for making it all happen. What's going on, bro? Doing pretty good, man. Shout out to everybody that came out, man. Like, it's do it yourself. I'm rapping and working. Like, it's hard to explain it, you know what I mean? Dealing with tickets. Got to make talk to management, talk about everything. So it's like they get on stage and have to break through that uh, work mode. Now I got to focus on this this, this performance. It's, it's crazy, but it's do it yourself, really. It's do it yourself. We all deliver tickets. So we all do that shit, you know what I mean? So that's what it is, man. Do it yourself. Break to your face. Me and Lisa, like me and my girl, that's the crazy thing. No one don't know about... Lisa J that been helping me throw shows since about six years ago. From building blocks to Project Blow to IE with Ganja K. You know what I mean? So it's like, this is what we do, man. Music and create. We're in a business. We don't create. We don't eat. It's got to be fun going back and forth from being a businessman to being an artist to a businessman. Changing hats. Otherwise, I mean, there wouldn't be a reason to do it, right? You got to love this hip-hop shit. Like the, the whole independent grind, you know what I mean? It it makes sense on both ends. Sense and sense. So like it makes both sense. Like you can't just do this one thing and make music and think you're gonna get very far with that. It's only a, a, a few. It's very rare to for that to happen. I think Blue is like the last artist, like really just boom, dope, shit. Everybody, whoo. You know what I mean? Like not that many artists that come out of come out the woodwork like that. So it's like you have to do both and understand both so so you don't get fucked over, you know what I mean? There's a lot of OGs that's broke. There's a lot of like I don't understand that. Like that's crazy. How how you a OG, you paved the way, you're one of the pillars. You wrote some of the first testaments of this hip hop shit, but you broke. And I always think it is because they don't pay attention to the business side. They always let someone do it for them or they don't care about it. They don't know about the ASCAP and BMI or getting them a DBA or becoming an LLC or branding themselves. They don't know none of, they don't know nothing about that. You know what I mean? Like, shit, I think in Cali you can be in a union now as an artist, like Snoop did some shit like that. So it's like, you got to research all that as an artist. You're a business. Quoting Jay-Z. I'm not a businessman. I'm a business man. Like I'm, you're the fish market. You're the Ralphs. You're the fuck. You're the brand. You're that. You know what I mean? So, gotta do both. And it's hip hop, man. I, and I do it with a smile. Like that's what I have to, man. I do what I need to do. So on the artist side of things, I know you got the DIY fest popping off right now in the background. From an artist standpoint, what are some of the projects you put out and some of the stuff you're putting out? You want to let the people know about that. I dropped the project while I was on tour. It's called Adventures of Young Orca. Very dope, man. I was in a different state of mind, like finding my flow and that, like really naming it Young Orca, finding how I'm going to swim through these beats and how I'm going to tell my story and what, you know what I mean? Just something different. Now I'm back home and I'm doing some shit with Gypsy Mamba called Fat Boy Lover. Some crazy shit, you know what I mean? Like that what Gypsy does. He worked with Beat Cinema. Low End Theory, Hell's Fire Club, all them cats. So it's like, I'm in the two different modes, but it's dope that I can switch from West Coast shit going into this shit, you know what I mean? Now I go back to, to some hard shit. Like, it's, it's really that yin and the yang shit, you know what I mean? As you, It's dope. Like, I get excited just thinking about it. Like, yo, I get to create for the rest of my life. And this is, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it with love. I'm not going to care what a lot of people like really like you got your core fans and you got your people that just every six months they're gonna change sometimes you don't worry about them a lot you worry about them if you're just trying to drop something just to hold it but i'm in it i'm in it to win it and i'm really in it for the love man so it's like i'm gonna do what i love i'm gonna do what i like so as far as shows and uh projects again any appearances anything like that that they look forward to from noah james you want to let the people know real quick? Man, you know what? I'm just working on music and trying to do better shows. Like, I got a show coming out here with um, Ashton Matthews. It's called Shut the Fuck Up. You know what I mean? He's headlining. 
This is my first time doing that, and it just do uh, Cy, uh, shout out to Cipher Effect. I'm gonna perform at I'm performing at the show. You're also performing too. When the homie Destruct, and shout out to Destruct, man. Y'all need to put the motherfuckers on pay dues, man. Like that's like the, around the same time that Speak dudes performing now, Fail, all these cats. We all been on the same grind. It's just been different grinds, you know. I think it's dope. They're trying to reach down, like you know. There's a lot of dope cats that can make it even crazier. You know what I mean? So shout out to everybody that's on this endless grind since like 07 around that area like you know what i mean like all the young bloatians and shit like that's about it man i'm just music shows music shows until i try to go on tour again or some another adventure or something man i'm very free spirited right now uh it, it, it approached me i see it far then i start planning but I do see it far, so it's kind of like I'm just free right now, man. And shout out to everybody, man, like, that came out. It's crazy. I got all this smiling right now, standing to this guy. Like, it's, it's beautiful, man. That's what's up. It took a minute to make this happen. Shit, I'm glad we did. Yeah, it's all good. It took a while to make this shit happen. I'm glad we finally made it happen. Hit them off with the links real quick. So for those that are familiar, they're probably already following. If you're not, make sure you check this man out, Noah James. Check me out on uh, noahjames.com, blackclubmusic.com, bricktoyourface.com. And, yo, shout out to everybody. Fuck with me. All your people, all my people that want to get booked, hit me up. I have a lot of time now to actually sit down and build with cats like I should have done with my homie Paul's one and Destruct and with Cypher Effect and Underground Hip Hop Blog is like I finally have the time and I, I you know I'm at a different pace now so hit me up man is that easy just let me know what's up it's the common ground there's no politics getting booked just say what's up I know I'm trying to get a show I just do my own research and look you up myself that's what's up there you have it Noah James pause one and you already know it's undergroundhiphopblog.com peace What's good? It's Noah James, a.k.a. Young Orca, representing Black Cloud Music, Brick to Your Face. You are tuning in to Underground Hip Hop Blog. Check it out. Click on something. Share something. Share this shit. Hip Hop. Forever, man. Undergroundhiphopblog.com exclusive.